Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Once again, welcome back to Technology Hub by Talha, dear viewers. We are going to discuss today while loop. Okay. Actually, whenever we use uh, some output or some statement repeatedly many times in our code, then we have to use some looping structure. And one of the looping structure is the while loop. Okay. So the while loop is the control flow statement actually in which the code repeatedly executed on the basis of some condition until that condition will be true then the body of while loop will be executed many times so just take a look with an example suppose if we have to display TST okay then simply we have to code it in a single line that is with the cout statement the cout TST simply okay but what about if we are going to display the four times TST then the best solution is using the looping structure just like while loop so we take it this statement within the while loop and whenever we talk about the while loop then you have to memorize this, these three things first is the starting value and the second one is the condition the repeating condition and the third thing is changing the value now let's see how we can uh, use these three things in our code while using the while loop firstly the initialization or the starting value is just like i equals 1 if we talk about the four times displaying the tst then we have to take some variable i that starts from value 1 okay so take a look in the code we declare the int i equals 1 we declare the integer i and initialize the value of i with the 1 now the second thing is that's a condition how we use the condition in the while loop after the while then we have to use this condition suppose in this case we have to use this condition that is i less or equals to 4 and the third thing is the changing value the changing value means just like i equals i plus 1 the increment of 1 in the i every time so let's see in the code we have to declare this increment in the value of i within the body of the while loop okay just like this we use in our code and uh, before terminating the while loop we have to use it i equals i plus 1 so this small piece of code if we execute it then it displays the four times tst now let's take a look with the execution process one by one step by step and now see the output firstly we initialize the value of i with one so the i's value is right now is one okay let's see the while condition is it true or not while i less or equals four value of i is one right now so one is less or equals to four the condition is true and within this body we have to display c out tst so the output is tst right now okay next line and after that i equals i plus one the increment of one in i so the value of i will be two right now now once again check the condition of the while loop i less or equals to four the value of i is two so the two is less or equals to four the condition is again true so again we have to display again tst second time okay and after that increment in i that is 3 now we have to check once again the while condition right now i equals 3 3 is less or equals to 4 the condition is once again true so the next is we have to display tst right now once again okay again the display will be third time tst and after that again the increment in i i equals i plus 1 so the value of i right now is 4 let's check the condition once again 4 is less or equals to 4 once again the condition is true so if the condition is true then we have to display once again tst and next i equals i plus 1 the increment of 1 in the value of i so the value of i right now is 5 now check the condition once again 5 is less or equals to 4 now the condition is false so the while loop will be terminated right now 
and the execution will be outside of this while loop now and finally the output is four times THT so this is the simple process of the while loop so let's take different examples of this suppose let's take another example we have to change something just like uh, if we change the condition now I less or equals to 8 rather than less or equals to 4 then what should be the output right now now this condition sh should be true how many times 8 times and the 8 times we have to display the TST so the output of this code is 8 times TST let's take another example suppose we take the increment of 2 in I rather than the increment of 1 what will be the output now let's check suppose initially value of i will be the 1 condition is true for the 1 and second time the value will be i plus 2 that is 3 for 3 the condition will be also true then plus 2 5 for 5 this condition will be also true then plus 2 7 for i is value 7 this condition will again true and after that for 9 this condition will be false so the 4 times this condition should be true so 4 times this code will be displayed TST let's take another example if we initialize the value of i with 6 instead of 1 what will be the output check it out if the value of i is 6 initially then this condition will be true 6 is less or equals to 8 1 time true and secondly plus 2 that is 8 for i's value 8 the 8 is also less or equals to 8 2 times condition will be true so 2 times TST will be displayed with this code so now you can easily understand the while loop with the concept with the dry run each step okay and with the different examples as well and don't forget to subscribe technology up by Talha thank you so much for watching